Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you this time. No one will ever know what I did. I'm gonna die with blood on my hands. No one will remember me. Hello, boy. Uh, hello. Good evening. Did I scare you? You have nothing to fear from me. No, it's just that people prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. So what they said about me was true. I really was Rufus the Curse. Destined to suffer until I die. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I have your attention for a minute? Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton, but I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No, but I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental of you. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks. <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town. You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. Sister, what will happen to her now that I'm gone? Giselle, I'm so sorry. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <sighs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. I haven't the luxury of being able to satisfy my hunger on staunch blood and lifeless flesh. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges. You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I have come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take. Eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. I really would like to believe your fairy tale. 
the good ghoul, feeding upon the flesh of the dead. But I'm all out of innocence. Do you question my fate, Dr. Reed? Do you remember William? Oh, how his admiration for you was exceeded only by his hunger. May his soul rest in peace. A night will come, and you will suffer the same hunger. Someone who trusts you completely, a friend, will die never to wake. You confuse your voracious appetite with my itchy hunger. I would never kill a friend, nor an innocent. I believe you've discovered our defining difference. No! No! Ah! I did! Still working at this hour. That's what I call dedication. I don't fear you. You did not defeat me. I was Sabrina Cavendish. I did not surrender. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? Sabrina seems very fond of you, Tom. I like her too. I really do. I know I'm her boss and I'm much older and all. But I like her for sure. What is bothering you then? Sabrina is an angry one. She wears it like a coat. I'm not sure I can make her shed that anger. It hurts to see her like that. Sabrina, my friends, what will they become without me? If only I could tell her, tell them. Too late, too late. Good evening, Mr. Fishman. I ain't got no desire for chit-chat, sir. Everything turned to shit when my mum heard about the stupid fucking orphan's death. That boy had a name. And now you talk just like her. Mother, you never believed I didn't kill that stupid boy. Now, I will shame you no more. Good evening, madam. I'm Dr. Reed. Could I come in? Why? What do you want? I work at the Pembroke Hospital. I'm investigating the flu epidemic in this area. Oh, the Spanish flu. Well, that's quite liberal of you, Doctor. But this is no time to be knocking at people's doors. The disease takes away the good people too, Madam. Why not let me in? It's Mrs. Fishburn. Stella Fishburn. And yes, indeed. Why not let a doctor in? is what worries people most these days. It's locked. Sorry to disturb you at this time of night, Mrs. Fishburn. It's all right, I guess. Wasn't sleeping anyway. How could I, with all these murderers in the lock? Are you all right, madam? 
It's this boy, Rufus. A poor, homeless little orphan I've tried to help from time to time. He's been murdered. to be a good mother and a decent citizen. Rufus, poor boy. I'm so sorry I failed you. 